Welcome back to the Python tutorial series. I'm so glad you're here. This is the 13th video in the series, and today we will be using brute force to learn how people ethically hack passwords. We will first learn how to use the random library, and then use that to brute force passwords that have just numbers, and then passwords that have numbers and characters as well. The timestamps are in the description below, so let's get started. Before we talk about brute force, let's talk about how random works. I imported the random library above, and then let's create a while statement, while true, so the while true statement will run forever and it won't stop. So while true, let's print a random integer by doing print random dot randint and then the range from 0 to 9999. So it's going to print a random number in that range over and over again. And it won't stop because it's inside the while true statement unless we force the program to stop. So when we run this, you see that it keeps on printing passwords so fast it's going on and on. And now you see that this print statement can run thousands of times per second. Now let's use that to brute force some passwords, and if you ever do this in the real world, make sure you're doing it ethically. Let's ask the user to input an integer, and we'll do that here, and then let's guess the number and have the default guess equal zero. And let's create a while statement, while guess does not equal number, we're gonna change the value guess to equal a random integer from zero to 9999. And then to show you that this works, we're going to print guess every single time. And then once guess equals the password, we will exit the while statement and print what the user's password is. And make sure when you do this that you convert number into a string. So now let's run this here. And let's say the password is 5496. And we run this and it guesses passwords and eventually it guesses 5496. Your password is 5496. And that did it almost instantly in less than a second because it's only four numbers. But let's say we did seven numbers. And then when we run this and let's enter a random seven digit password. And when we run this, you can see it will take longer than before because seven digits is more than four it's a thousand times as many therefore it will take a thousand times as long and eventually we get the password which we entered above and it works but it takes longer so the longer your password is the harder it is to crack because of the more options. You'll also see that this gets thousands of passwords. Your phone might lock out after five passwords, and that's good because some random person then couldn't just brute force their way into your phone because they'd be locked out after five attempts. So that's why it's good to have a password lockout count on your devices. One thing to note about this program is that if I guessed from zero to 9,000 999 and I had my password as 0009 it would return my password as 9 not 0009 so just one thing to note so you see it guesses random numbers but what if we wanted to guess every number in a row like 0 1 2 3 4 to ensure that we guessed every password well we can by using while loops I created a file called brute force while and like before I asked the user to input a password as a number and set guess equal to one and started at a while loop while number does not equal guess. Let's then print the guess out to the console and increment the guess by one by doing guess plus equals one. And when we get the password we can use the print statement like before 
print your password is string number. So when we run this program, for example, it's gonna ask us to input a password. Let's do 965, and then it will count every single thing up to 965. One thing to do to make this run even faster is to comment out the print statement where it prints the guess. Therefore, it doesn't have to print the guess on every single line. We can just enter 965 like we did last time. Then it will do your password is 965. And this is fast since it doesn't have to print the guess out every single time. Now that we know how to brute force using numbers, let's use characters as well. I created a new file called brute force character and imported the random library and set the character equal to a range of numbers from 0 to 9 and letters from A to Z. I know it's not uppercase letters, it's just lowercase, but I'm just showing this as an example. Then I'm going to create a new variable called character list and set it equal to the list of every single character. So this will break all the characters in the string up and set them to each other value. I'll then prompt the user to input a password, then guess the password and the default guess will just be an empty string to start. And then I'll create a while loop, while guess does not equal password. Change the guess value to random dot choices, and it's gonna input two things here: the character list that we had before, and then the length of the password. One limitation to this is that we have to look up the length of the password, so we are using the password right here. But to avoid this limitation, we could set k equal to one, and then after a certain number of guesses, change it to two, three, four, and so forth. Then let's print the guess every single time to just show that it works right now. And when it prints, it's gonna print every letter separate because it's currently in a list. Because in line three, we had a character list equals less characters so we need to join them by doing guess equals no spaces empty st string dot join and then in parentheses we want to join the guess and then let's print guess again just to show you and then once we have the right answer we can print your password is guess and now when we run this program it should work here let's say our password is three letters bfg so it goes through and through until it finds finds BFG and then eventually it will find it and you notice we print the guess so BFG is separated then we combine them using dot join and it's one string BFG and then it matches so that's how it works and the longer the password is the longer it will take and it will also be faster if we comment these two lines out then it won't have to print this. So if we run it again, it should be faster. So we'll do BFG again, and you see that is much faster. So I'm gonna enter a much longer password here, and it's gonna take a while for this to solve because it's that much longer. Going back to an earlier point, one way to prevent people from cracking into your computer is to set a lockout count threshold so they can't constantly guess. They'll be locked out for 30 minutes after every five attempts for example i'm not gonna wait for this to solve the password because it's going to take an extremely long time but i think by now you understand the point the longer the password is the longer it takes to solve so that's how you use brute force to ethically crack passwords thank you so much for watching make sure to follow along with this video series by subscribing and hitting the notification bell or by clicking on the next video so that you can expand your knowledge about Python. And as always, I can't wait to see you next time.